All right, welcome back. In this session, we're going to be learning how to set up the slot operation. So the slot that is going to be around this part right here that you see, if I'm going to zoom in a little bit, that's going to be a slot of 10,000 width. So you're going to be using a 10,000 tool to machine that. Okay, so let's get started by defining the chain or the geometry of that. I'm going to come over here under this time, I'm going to do a little bit different. Come over here under solid cam operations, under 2.5D, and then select slot. Okay, under that, click on new. And let's come down here under multi-chain, add. And then I'm going to move my part by holding the uh, scrolling part of my mouse and then rotating. And then come over here and select this surface right here. Now that's going to select both the chains that I want highlighted. Click on OK. And click on the check mark. All right, let's go to tool. And let's set up our tool. Now I want to use the same 0.125 end mill, but I want to use a 0.1 end mill. This is this is a uh, sorry, it's not a ten thou, it's a hundred thou, and that's in between the slot. So I want to use a hundred thou end mill. Click on new end mill, and let's change the diameter to 0 0.100. Okay, that you have that done. Okay, the only thing you want to make sure, like I said, is the cutting length. Always pay attention to that. Make sure that it is above um, what you need. Now, if you actually move the tool over here, it's a little bit hard to see in this one, but you can see that the tool will actually fit perfectly in that area. Okay? So that 10,000 tool will just take um, one pass on every level to machine your slot for you. Now that you have that selected, click on Select. And let's go to Level. Let's select the depth of the upper level, sorry, this is the upper level, not the lower level. Click on here. I'm gonna put it in isometric view so you see what I selected. I selected the top surface. Now the reason it only asks you for the upper level is because we highlighted the, those both those geometries on that bottom level. So it's asking you, well, where's the upper level so I know not to hit it. The tool needs to know where the upper level is so it doesn't come in and lead in through the upper level and machine uh, th that upper level as well. Okay, so now that you've selected the upper level, click on the check mark, and then go to technology. Now under technology, especially whenever I'm using uh, a tool that is the same uh, OD as the slot ID, okay, I like to keep my tool side at the center. Okay, uh, for the depth, come over here and click on the slot depth, and now select the slot depth right here. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit. There's my slot depth. It's going to be 0.4. Click on check mark. Okay, that's 0.4 from that you know top distance from that 0.25. So step down, come over here, and I'm going to tell it to. I'm going to, I want every step to be 0 0.05. So every time it machines, it steps down 0 0.05. Okay, now that you have that selected, come over here under save and calculate, and then simulate. And then click on the play button and there you go if you zoom in a little bit like that you're gonna see your slot created right there okay now I see an error already on here I'm gonna keep this on the video so I can show you how guys how to fix it if you notice my slot is actually bigger than the, um, the intent that is bigger than point one uh, point uh, one, which is a hundred thou, and I want to change that. And the reason for that is I'm gonna click on the X button, and I'm going over here to tool side, and I'm gonna actually select the left side. Okay, that's gonna keep my tool on one side, instead of measuring a little bit off from the center. So I'm gonna save and calculate again, and then go to simulate, and then try that again. And now if I zoom in again, you're gonna notice now my slot is the correct slot. So having that tool set up at the center, it will machine on one side and then machine on the other side. But having it through, uh, you know, just basically staying on one side, which is the left side or rotating on the left side, it's going to prevent that from machining a, a little bit off of both walls. Okay, so the left side is the correct side to leave it on. And now you see my slot is machined correctly. And if you want to double check that, you can always go to measure. 
top of the surface, come down here, select the bottom of the surface, and you're going to see that it is 0.15, just like it's stated in the drawing or in the model. So if I click on the X, there's the depth is 0.15. So I know I machined correctly 0.05 each step at a time. So it took three steps to finish uh, machining the slot. Once you're done, click on save and exit. Put it back on isometric view. And this concludes our session for uh, the slot operation.